In this video, I'm going to talk about construction planes. So, for purposes of Fusion 360, a plane is a two-dimensional flat surface that extends indefinitely. And they can be pretty useful for a few things, and I'll talk about the planes that I use the most when I'm doing CAD drafting. So, the first plane that I use is an offset plane, which should be the default button right here up the top. So, I'm going to click on that, and you click on any flat surface on your 3D model to set up your offset plane, just like that. And if you want to, you can leave the plane on the surface, or you can expand it out you know, however, whatever distance you like. Just click OK, and you can set up a sketch just like this, you know, just like you could, like you're probably used to setting up sketches on flat surfaces of a 3D model. You can set up a sketch on a plane like this and make an all new part. Now if you orbit your model, you'll see that the plane, because the plane is set out a certain distance from the face I, you know, that I originally set it up on, the sketch is going to be all the way out here and not on there. So let's go back to the right view and just make a, a circle and a sketch and you can see the circle sketch is all the way out there and you can actually go ahead and make a, a body out of it there you go so that's one use for a plane uh, an offset plane in particular uh, you can also use an offset plane to split bodies so I'll start another offset plane like down here for example and I'll offset it this direction right there I'll click OK go over here where it has split body sometimes depending on how you have this set up you might have to click on the modify bar here if I have it so I can split the body right there I want to split this body and my splitting tool is going to be this plane so I'll select splitting tools and you can see the splitting tool encompasses the whole model. So I'll click OK. And there we go. I now have two separate bodies, which I can move around. See? There we go. So that's another thing you can use a plane for. Uh, now, if you want to turn planes on and off, you go over here to where it says Construction. And you can turn them off individually. Another plane I really like to use is a mid-plane. So mid-plane will be set up uh, an equal distance between two surfaces. So I can set up a couple mid-planes to demonstrate. So if I want a mid, so if I want a plane to be directly between this surface right here and this one right here, I'll just select that one and this one and hit OK. And there we go. I got a plane you know, equal distance between those two surfaces. And then I can make a sketch uh, and again the sketch is going to be right in the middle of you know, the body that you wanted to do it on and you know, for fun I'll make another circle click finish sketch you can see it's still in the middle right there and you know, for fun I'll extrude it just like that now, something you can do um, yeah, sure, I could have just made a sketch on this face here and done that, but, you know, I, I'm just demonstrating stuff. Uh, another plane that I find useful as well is a tangent plane, which is a plane that you can set up on curved surfaces. So using this uh, cylinder as an example, I'll go ahead, click tangent plane. I select the curved surface as a face. And by default, it looks like it's chosen the top, basically the top tangent edge of the sphere. And I can adjust the angle to however I want it. Now I'm just curious, what if I approached, what if I tried setting the tangent plane from the front? There you go. It'll go from the front. Uh, if I'm looking at it from the bottom, tangent plane will start at the bottom so you do have a degree of control of where you can start your tangent plane uh, based on whatever view you're in and then you can adjust it a little bit you know, with with the slider here or by just typing it so 
again, I'll just demonstrate here the tangent plane. I, let's make a circle. Yeah, I guess that's the center of mass right there. Make a circle. Finish sketch. And I'll just extrude something through it. There you go. And, you know, for kicks, how about one more time? Let's do a mid plane. Click between two surfaces on the s cylinder. See, divided right down the middle. You see, it's it's off center from, you know, from the circle I made on the tangent plane. But that's okay because the mid plane again, it's going to be equidistant between the two surfaces you designate you know, for the mid plane. So I'll click OK, and I'm just going to split the body. So spot a body to split. Uh, splitting tool like this. Sometimes you'll see extend splitting tool option. It all depends. I might cover that in another video because the, the split body command can be pretty uh, useful. So now let's move this. There we go. So those are the those are the different kinds of construction planes that I happen to use the most in my in my uh, CAD modeling and you know, just just being able to do the work I want to do. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, post any questions you have in the comments and I may answer them in another video. And remember, anyone who stops learning is old, whether at 20 or 80. Anyone who keeps learning stays young. So keep learning, keep designing, keep making, and be proud of your work.